Hey everyone, it's Josh with JE Vintage Minis in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we're gonna kind of do a video on compression testing versus leak down testing. Uh, why I favor one over the other. And I'll show you kind of an example here based on an engine that I know is healthy and uh, it's been completely top end rebuilt. Uh, so we'll use this as kind of the control to show what these two uh, gauges, leak down gauge setup versus the um, compression test setup. So we'll use this engine as the um, control. So before I get into kind of uh, playing around the tools and showing you what those gauges are going to read in each, uh, you know, each situation, uh, whether it's a leak down test versus the uh, compression gauge, uh, why, is, uh, why is this video important? Well, it's important for me. Um, Personally, because I'm working on these engines very often, and I'm trying to, you know, obviously tr uh, use data before I just pull the top end down and uh, rebuild it. Um, and these tools that I just showed you will give you a good indicator of the health of the engine before you start to disassemble it. Uh, this bike that we're looking at right now, this was just brought to me. Uh, no history on the engine owner actually just picked the bike up and uh, wasn't sure you know kind of what what it what's wrong with it but he hasn't got it running yet so you know for me I'm um, first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it through the ringer with the uh, leak down test or compression gauge uh, and uh, assess it from there I'm not gonna just start pulling things apart and um, doing unnecessary repairs So let's start with a leak down test on the control engine, the, the rebuilt one that's going to be healthy. And I'm going to hook up my uh, leak down hose here under pressure. Okay, and without doing too much explaining right now, we are in the set area, which is the good, healthy engine area, and I'll kind of explain the gauges and how to read them. Or what that means, but I'll show you real quick. Okay, so we're sitting right here on this healthy engine on the uh, leak down uh, gauge. So on to the compression test now, and um, I'm gonna hold the throttle. I'll do everything right. How you gotta do a compression test? Open the throttle so the carbs open and get enough air pulled in to get to the gauge and uh, anyways let's get at it all right throttle open So we only hit about 120, uh, 125-ish, 120, 120, less than 125 on that one. Alright, so let's do it one more time, just get another reading, reassure myself here. Again, this is the control engine. There we go. Gonna max me out. Looks about the same reading there. So we'll roll with it. So what we're looking at here is from uh, CT70 manual compression pressure and what they are rating the um, CT70 at and probably very similar across the board is 155 to 187 PSI using the kickstart method. All right, circle back to this gauge on this bike. Again, this is a brand new motor, top end, and we're only getting 120 and change on the compression test. So if I was only using this gauge, I would be led to believe that something's wrong. 
you know, it's obviously not as healthy as what the spec is in the manual. Uh, it, you know, make, make you nervous uh, based on these compression gauges. Uh, but since that's not the only tool I used, if you remember, I just showed you the uh, leak down gauge. Well, as long as we fall into this area of uh, roughly 10% or lower on a leak down test, uh, you're considered okay, but I didn't even fall past five. It was right at the E, I think. Um, so knowing that I have two ways to measure here, I know my engine is uh, leak leak free, or at least very uh, low leakage and a very healthy top end. And that's contradictory kind of to what the uh, um, compression gauge is showing me. So that leads us to the question, why is that happening? Why am I getting uh, a good reading on my leak down and not so great reading on my compression test? Well, let me, uh, let's go to the internet and kind of Google this question. So jumping on the internet, uh, which I did a while back, was trying to solve this issue of why I'm getting low readings on a rebuild engines using compression test uh, gauges. Uh, and doing some internet reading and kind of pinpointing the search towards small engines and Hondas and um, and such uh, Running into forums and getting kind of common same issues and questions from others uh, I ended up running across this guy's blog, which is actually a really nice blog uh, for the CT90 uh, bikes uh, CT90 restoration adventures uh, But in particular this guy wrote a little uh, entry here about uh, He's using a Harbor Freight uh, compression tester in this example, um, but there he came to the conclusion that there's a there must be a correction factor uh, when you're using these uh, gauges on small bore engines. And essentially, you know, as you scroll and read his um, his his example here and his findings, uh, he he ended up having to come up with this correction factor due to these engines having such small displacement. Uh, and moving such a minimal amount of air uh, that this hose that's connected to these gauges actually consumes so much of the air which uh, in turn gives you a false low reading. Uh, so uh, you can use the same gauge and use it on a large, like an automotive engine or something of a larger bike uh, and you're actually going to get a, an accurate reading because that bore is uh, a much larger bore and the hose uh, volume is such a small percentage of what that bore is uh, going to push through in, in, a, in air um, capacity. Uh, so anyways, I've had this problem and I've come to the conclusion that um, you can use the, the um, compression gauges but they're going to be way off. So it's going to be misleading unless you know about this issue to begin with. Uh, how do you get an accurate reading? I haven't calculated that for me with the big bore or with the uh, small bore engines here that I'm using it on and that's why I've migrated to really using a uh, leak down test as my sole test um, and uh, less and less I ever rely, I rarely rely on a compression gauge anymore. So the whole point of the video is kind of give you a little Heads up, um, you still can use your compression gauge, I guess, if you, that's what you have. Um, but know that um, you're going to have a low reading, so it's not necessarily going to be the truth in the matter. And don't uh, just, if you have a, I've even had um, gauges read in 90 uh, PSI, and uh, motor's running fine. Uh, so, I mean, if you know about being that low, the motor shouldn't even start. Not enough compression to even get fire and compress the fuel and uh, mixture, you know. So, uh, my, if I can tell you anything, go with the leak down test if you're going to buy a tool. Uh, this one's a Lang. Uh, Lang, from my understanding, is the company that makes the this tool and it's rebranded by Snap-on. So Lang is actually the manufacturer of Snap-on's leak down test tool and they just are putting their own logo on it. Um, might be wrong on that, I don't know. I read it, 
and I read it in multiple places and uh, anyways this tool is quality anyways it's a really nice piece uh, I got it on Amazon it's probably I can't remember if it was like 70 80 bucks or something like that but uh, I could say that Lang is a good one to choose if you want to get um, <clears throat> a high quality leak down test uh, tool so anyways I uh, hope that's helpful for you guys and maybe solves maybe some of you guys are going through that question right now is why is my compression so low and I just rebuilt my engine or you know should I rebuild my engine based on my compression gauge showing me a low uh, number? Well, uh, second guess that gauge and, uh, and uh, don't tear down right away. Oh yeah, I just also want to make sure you saw that. It's a uh, Lang CL2-2, CLT-2, sorry. Uh, and then, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, also, uh, I'm going to do how to do the leak down test. Uh, I'm going to do a video on... Uh, one of those bikes that I just showed you, but I'll step you guys through how to properly do a, a leak down test and how to, you know, get your readings and understand kind of what, I'll step you through what's actually happened when you do your leak down test and um, kind of the concept behind uh, what this tool's doing and what the data means. All right, I'm back. One last comment here. Um, so this adapter, you're going to want to buy this adapter. It's, this will not come in a kit. This is adapter for the 10 millimeter spark plug hole on the Z50. And you, again, I'm shop, I shop on Amazon all the time here. and I love their Prime. But uh, it's Lyle 20530 10 millimeter spark plug adapter for 631. So make sure you buy that when you get your either your compression gauge or if you, I sold you on the um, leak down gauge. Also, uh, again, please subscribe. Uh, let's me know that you enjoy my content and it makes me want to make more for you guys. Okay, have a good day.